Hi, and welcome to another episode of Hot Takes with me, The Silver Fox. Rents are rising very, very quickly in certain parts of Scotland. Generally, across the whole of Scotland, they're rising higher than the national average. But in some particular areas, they're very much higher than even that. And that's because the SNP have created uh, a condition where landlords are forced to increase rents now much higher than they would normally. It's years of rent control that's been put in without consent and it's more rent controls on the cards and many people have just about had enough. And the people who ultimately will pay the price will be the tenants. The Greens think that they are saving people but they're only making matters so much more worse. And it isn't going to give up just yet. There's probably another two, maybe three years of this before anything can be done. The only saving grace, of course, is if it can get extended. It may be until the next Parliament, in which case the Greens will be out and all their stupid policies with them. Let's take a look at this to see how bad it's going to get for renters in Scotland, thanks entirely to the SNP and the Greens adopting the worst possible policies. Here goes. So Scottish landlords exploit an SNP rent control loophole to increase rents. Now, given what the inflation has been for the last, let's say, since 2019, really. Uh, so you're talking the last five years. Rents in Scotland have not increased that much because there was a lot of period where you couldn't put them up at all. Then there was a, a very short period recently where they could only go up by 3%. Uh, and so forth. Now, this has come to an end. On top of that, of course, you had the ability or the, the, the inability as a landlord to uh, to evict people. Even if they didn't pay their rent, it could take a long time. You were getting people turning up, paying their deposit, paying their first month's rent and then never paying again and living there for two, two and a half, even three years rent free. Very nice, isn't it? If you can do it. Uh, and that's what was happening. And of course now, a lot of landlords are getting out of the game. Uh, properties being sold left, right and centre. That's removing them from the sector at all. Meaning a very, very much reduced rental sector. And those that are in having to make good on all the rent re increases that there should have been in that period. Because after all, insurances go up, maintenance charges go up, all sorts of things go up. And with the prospect of even tighter controls in future, they're having to put it up now in order to obviate those problems going forward over the next 5, 10, 20 years, however long. So uh, Scottish landlords are capitalising on a loophole in the SNP's rent control laws, leading to a 12% increase in rents. The rent cap legislation which restricted rent rises ended on March 31st. However, new plans to bring in permanent rent controls are not expected to come into force until 2025 following a consultation. This gap has seen landlords raising rents as they scramble to cover spiralling costs. The move follows Scottish tenants seeing the highest rent rises of 11.6%, the highest in the UK, driven exclusively by green SNP policies. Instead of an organic increase and encouraging people to become landlords, to increase the rental availability of rental property and thus reduce the market rate for rents because if in a glut you know costs prices come down what's happened is they've done the complete opposite made it harder made a, a shrinking market and when there's a, a greater demand and a smaller supply the price goes up this is economics 101 this is very basic stuff indeed uh, despite the rise tenants rights minister patrick harvey has defended the rent, rent cap saying thousands of tenants have been helped but he's not saying how many thousands of tenants have been turfed out onto the streets as landlords sell up to invest their money in, say, the stock market. Uh, Nicola Sturgeon first capped the rent rises at 3%. Um, she, she did this and placed a pause on evictions in 2022. The law didn't cover new tenancies, though, which is when landlords put rents up. So when one tenancy ends, that's gone. He's finished. New tenancy. It should be up to you. It's a contract between two individuals, the landlord and the tenant. If the tenant doesn't want to pay what the landlord asks, the tenant walks away. The landlord is be forced to reduce his prices if he wants to rent the house out. Market rates. Why are the government getting involved in private contracts? Who knows? Uh, last month, Humza Yousaf's SNP Green government published radical new plans to bring in longer term market controls. This would see local authorities getting the powers to create rent caps as low as 0% for 
for up to five years. Other proposals include allowing courts to delay evictions during winter months or where they may cause high levels of stress. Oh, I can't lose my house. It's very stressful. OK, you go. I'm not paying me rent, but, you know, I don't want to go. On. That'll be it. And that's boom, done. Landlords sell up now. 2027, of course, is when it's absolutely going to be imperative to sell. But if this comes in, you can guarantee by 2025, the housing market in Scotland will crash. Uh, the new rules would also prevent landlords from unreasonably refusing pets or requests to redecorate. Uh, the Scottish Government says it wants to enact the new rent control legislation by the end of 2025, but industry experts say the plans will reduce investment in Scotland's private rental sector. It absolutely will. Already people are selling up and leaving. There are no way that this is going to attract new landlords, no way it's going to increase the number of rental properties available. It's going to make people homeless en masse we're basically closing down an entire sector simply to virtue signal and wouldn't it be ironic if uh, the landlord of uh, of harvey's building or wherever he lives in his flat said you know what i've got i've got to get rid of them i've got to sell them all now i can't keep it so i'm going to sell them i need you to go and out he goes boom and then you go well hang on i've got nowhere to live well yeah that's a problem but you know what it's great ain't my fucking problem mate at and away he goes. And then he's sitting there going, well, hang on, there's no rental properties available. Oh, I wonder why that is then, Patrick. Why is that? Why can you not get a rental property? It's a bugger, isn't it? Um, it said that it will, uh, it will also force more landlords to sell up, they claim, which I said. Michael Lawson, who owns 75 properties in Fife, told The Telegraph that he'd issued 26 rent increase notices of between 8 and 12% for existing tenancies on the 1st of April. He said, all landlords are doing this. Landlords like me just can't make a return. We try to make £300 a month per property, but now we're struggling. Some will be making £100 a month now, and it's not worth the faff. Mr Lawson said he was considering selling 20 properties in his portfolio. He moves he believes will be bad for tenants. It will. You're removing these things, which means fewer rental properties. That will only drive the rents up even further, even faster. And if every landlord dumped en masse immediately, which they're going to do by 2025 or 2027, those two dates, that will depress the market. All the prices come down. Negative equity. Builders won't build. Not in a negative equity world. It's not worth it. They can't make money at all. And so they'll just stop building. All the subbies will go south. Whatever. That's what's happening. Everyone is going to be leaving the market in Scotland and going to England. It will be the end of the building market in Scotland, the end of the housing industry everywhere, in every sector of it. Um, anyway, so it's a zero-sum game, he says, that as that property will stay in housing stock, but will it stay as a rental? Probably not. Why would anyone invest in it? You can't be heartless, he says, but you have to work pragmatically. The government is constantly shoving new legislation down our throats. It's exhausting. They have a vendetta against landlords but also a total misunderstanding of how the sector operates. That's because it's being run by the deviant imp and he doesn't like it. Oh, I, I should have bought property. Well, I'm well, one. Oh, look at me, little renty boy. I'm a little rent boy. Um, uh, I'm in the house. And um, he likes a little rent boy, you know. And he's, uh, he's complaining. But when his landlord throws him out because the landlord needs to sell up, that would make my day. Uh, the chief executive of the Scottish Association of Landlords, John Blackwood, said landlords were taking the opportunity to increase rents after their costs skyrocketed over the past few years. He points to rising interest rates, inflation and increased regulation. He said, from a recent survey of our members, respondents reported that one in ten let properties are no longer financially viable as the cost to run these properties is in far in excess of the rents being charged. And so they sell up and they make people homeless and there's nowhere for the government to put them because there's no rental properties available. Bad a bing. And you can't even put them into short term rents because of all the legislation and the registrations that they've got for them. Many people have sold them up as well. It's deliberate. It's just let's create homelessness on a massive scale and we'll do it deliberately and pretend it's Westminster's fault. Good job. And you keep voting for these people. Stop it. Coming up. Now, I said it's deliberate. It can be nothing else. They've seen what's happened. They've been told by experts. They've, told me, they've been told by officials. They all know what is going to happen and what is going to come. And so what you're going to get is in 2025, a big mass exodus of the market by a lot of landlords. But by 2027, definitely the mass. That'll be the final straw for most. 
because that's when uh, all rental properties have to have uh, heat pumps. They just won't. They'll just say, nope, and sell the houses, and away they go. And they'll all dump out, housing market collapses, no rentals available at all. Where are people going to live if they can't buy a house? Won't be able to live in a rental property, and no one in Scotland will be building even social housing. There's no money in it. They can't afford it because of the depressed prices. Plus the fact you won't get any um, tradesmen. They'll all be south in England, working hard, paying their taxes to the UK government, not the Scottish government. Weird that, isn't it? It's almost as though they've set out deliberately to destroy the Scottish economy. I think that's actually what it is happening. Anyway, I shall stop there. I shall just simply say, stop voting for the SNP. It's your children's future you're destroying. Thanks very much for watching. Do please hit the subscribe button, ring the bell, leave a like, leave a comment, please share the video, and I'll speak to you later. Bye.